Hi guys, what's up? Welcome to our channel Trending Signal. I'm Caterina from Italy. So in today's video, we are going to talk about how to behave in Indian families as compared to Italian families, how to treat the elderly, how you can be formal, if you can be formal or informal. And for today's video, we have a special guest. Can you imagine who he is? And so I'm going to say my magic formula. Abracadabra. <laughs> oh no, he's Brajesh. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, welcome back, Brajesh. So Thank you, you. <laughs> you came, yeah, you came back from Tornafort, no? Yeah, you, yeah. you visited Tornafort, you've been living there for all these weeks. No, I'm joking, but yeah, I <laughs> feel you're back. <laughs> So before starting our daily video, let's roll the intro. Brajes, roll the intro with me. So hi guys. So Katrina today find the topic to talking about the family relations, how to behave with the relations and something relations is very different kind and a special kind that is not in Italy like we have same. So just Katrina want to talk about relations in family relations how to behave with the, some relations. The idea of this video actually happened yesterday because Brajesh was trying to teach me how to uh, behave, what are the rules that people have to follow, for example, in a wedding, with which people you can yes. be familiar, with other you have to act more formally, and when women feel shy in India, they do like that. <laughs> <laughs> wow, you know, very, <laughs> you know, yeah, you get it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, I get it. So, um, other thing that I had to get, it is very funny because I realized some months ago that in India, of course, when you meet someone who is older than you, just one year older than you, you had to touch his or her feet. So this is very funny because I imagine people like going around with their ID card, like saying, oh, I have this age. So, yeah. so it is very it is very complex to understand how old the other person is because maybe if the difference is just one or two years maybe you can you don't know i mean i can't remember everyone's age so i would be like super chill super formal hi 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 but no you have to be like <laughs> and i imagine if you enter in a room full of elderly people you have to do gym basically you have to do squats all the time because you have to stand up and go stand up and go this is very fun you know how do you manage yes. it <laughs> <laughs> yeah in, in, oh, no. if you went somewhere there is a around 10 members so you, you have to find in 10 per uh, 10 members they are elder okay uh, so you will go you will see then you have to touch feet of 10 members maybe they are sitting in in a room so you have to uh, touch 10 members feet in a room i can if skip the gym for that day yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yes <laughs> you're up at the end <laughs> yes actually it's not happen if uh, you don't have to show the ID card because in family and in relatives, everyone know that who is older and who is not older. And mm. it's also not depend upon the age, it's depend upon the what's your relation. So you anyone can touch the feet according to their feel rela relation or according to age both. OK, if you don't know, you can just uh, touch the feet at yes. the same time. You can like yes. meet in the ground level. <laughs> Oh yes, no, it's... we are here. What have you said now? <laughs> yeah, sometimes, sometimes it happen because uh, some relatives is very distant relatives. It's mm. not close. Yeah. So sometimes it's happen. You met someone, person. It's like you, you uh, and uh, like same as your age, but you don't know. So you just try to pretend, and you just try to touch feet. And he's also just try to touch feet. Yeah, it's like a game. Yeah. <laughs> yes. <laughs> yeah, maybe if they are very professional, they can shake hand. But in village area, they just want to touch feet because they feel he's older and they, and another person feel he's older. So sometimes it's happened to us. Yes. 
And the problem is also if you don't find the feet, because sometimes like women <laughs> have these long, uh, long shirt, long skirt, yes. and if you don't find, so what you have to open the skirt for finding <laughs> the feet. I don't think this is appropriate. <laughs> like, <laughs> no, no. <laughs> <laughs> it's not that pain. No, it's uh, not yeah. like that. Just you have to touch only feet. Just you can show you are touching feet. That's it. She has in feet. I mean, if. If the woman has feet, like feet is near the ground. Back. Feet is near ground, so you can go on the ground, and you yeah. can touch feet like do. That's it. Ah, you do also like that. It is like a yeah. Christ. Okay. <laughs> yes. And I also imagine another uh, funny situation about feet touching. So if you go down, okay, close to the feet, and the other person is trying to give you the the blessing not to you if you come up too much fast you risk to <laughs> you know to smash with the other person head this is also very funny because if you do like that the boom, and this person think your head here yeah it is very problematic so yeah a lot of like uh, uh, a lot of issues uh, about this yeah. touching feet so also, many things yes uh, yes it's happened but not usually both same time okay mm. <laughs> so in italy for example it is very easy because we just shake hands even if the other person is 90 years old so mm. that is not <laughs> just to say hi yeah we have no we don't say hi we have we are we have some formal sentences too but yeah yeah we, we shake hands Usually, you shake hands. We don't have all these problems with the uh, <laughs> formal, non formal. No, it depends. We, we touch feet and we are taking blessing to older people. Hmm? Uh -huh. This is the yeah, take yeah. blessing with them. Then they will give you bless. <laughs> you will get bless. Yeah. They will like give sheep, like God. Yeah. 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 Be happy. Bless, like, be happy. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Nice. Another thing that I'm very curious to know about, because I know that I am very little informed, uh, it is how you call each other inside a family. So, for example, how a husband calls his wife or how a wife calls his husband, because sometimes you said to me, you gave to me some examples and you said to me that maybe people can call each other like madam or sir, ne <laughs> never by name. I mean, we are like more chill. We are we call each other by names. Even if you are married, it doesn't matter. So like you no, know, you have to say like uh, by yeah, by madam or what what other names there are like uh, yeah, so many names. Yeah, it's also depend upon the person or family. Okay. <laughs> yeah, of course. yeah, if they are arranged marriage, if they are arranged yeah. marriage, so. Uh, mostly wife don't take name of the husband but it's it's no any rule for not taking the name but it's, it's happened in this culture they don't uh, wife don't take name of the husband like he she can say any she can say anything like uh, sir or like what she wants she can say it okay. is not weird to call a husband sir no not weird any person any uh, say can according to her or according to him, there is no issue. There is no any rule. But love marriage, love marriage, they can say with the name. There is no problem. It's happened in arranged marriage. Mm. Yeah. Also, if uh, uh, any person, uh, any girl marries and elder brother, he has a different relation. He have to be behave formal. Oh, really? Inside the same yes. family? They can't like yes. uh, go, go out together and doing no, if, there is, have... <laughs> if there is an elder brother, mm. okay, and a wife, uh, a small brother wife, so oh. they have, we have to like formal. She can mm. say bhaiya, she will say bhaiya, it means brother, you know, okay. Mm. So she will say bhaiya, but they behave to each other like formally, not informal. If brother is a small, they can make joke, they can do enjoy anything, okay? But if brother is elder, then your husband, okay? Mm. So you have to behave like formally. So it depends 
on the aid of the brother. Yes. How people can talk. It's yes. very confusing. <laughs> because you have to because if your brother is old is older brother mm -hmm. and he has a wife for um, for the same reason for older brother you are small. Yes. So it is kind of the opposite. Yes. So it is very <laughs> difficult to understand. Yeah. No, it's not difficult. It's relation. Like a uh, small brother relation is called they were. They were so they can enjoy, they can make job, they can work together, like okay. Informal they can talk like. But if brother is elder, you have to talk formally. But say, also for if you if you are in the middle, no, if you have mm -hmm. a older brother and a small brother, <laughs> so you can be friend and your wife can be friend with the little brother. Yeah. But at the same time, the little brother, the wife of this little brother, mm -hmm. brother, can she has to act formally with you? Yes. Because yes. you are old. You because you are older. So yes, it kind of depends uh, in where you are. Yes, like your brother and your father. Okay, mm -hmm. like your brother and your father. So you behave same both with yeah your father or brother. Yeah, because or we. If you, yeah. No, you will respect more father. No, brother, you can beat. <laughs> you can beat no, no. brother, but yeah, you can beat brother, but you can't beat no, your father, right? Uh, okay, yeah, beat, you, yeah. You, you can beat father. <laughs> yeah, in some families that happens too, but not in yes. my family. Yes, it's happened. Oh, yeah, yeah. <laughs> Some families is exception. It's happened. You can beat brother, but you can't beat like father. No. Okay. Yeah. If it comes to beating, this is an extreme example. So yes, yes, I agree. Yes. So it's like uh, it's depend upon what is the relation, father and brother. So it's like same relation here. One so is I the favor. One is the. My brother-in-law. I can beat him. I can beat my brother-in-law. Yeah, you can be it a small. I can be it, brother-in-law. Oh, really? Yeah. I come, I come to new family and I start to be it, brother-in-law. Really? Yeah, it's <laughs> depend. Yeah, yeah. Oh, it's really? depend upon his thinking, your thinking, and family. Okay, you can be it. You can make job. Okay, you can do with a small. But there is elder brother. You have to behave like formal, like father. <laughs> you can't be it, elder brother. Okay. Uh, <laughs> yeah. This is the. It's depend upon the relation. What is the relation? Okay. Mm -hmm. Wow. Yeah, it is very complicated. <laughs> also, I have to remember everyone's age for touching feet. Like it is not easy to remember yeah, everyone. <laughs> <laughs> Don't worry. Oh God! You can't just say hi. <laughs> uh, okay. So yeah. Also, you can say hi if there is some person. You can say hi. There is no any rule. You have to touch feet. You can say hi too. When I meet someone in the street, I have to touch their feet, even if they are in the street. Yeah. Yeah, you can touch feet in the street. There is no issue. People can touch on the road too. Okay. They can touch feet on road or in bus or in <laughs> or to people can touch feet anywhere. Here people don't think like that. Oh, what he is doing? It's not like mm. that, because everyone know this is the culture. Okay, mm. taking so if, even you if you take... are walking, if you are walking in the road and you meet someone like casually, you stop mm. and you touch feet and then you go. Yes, if you meet uh, like uh, after a long time, around one week, one month, it depend upon person. Okay. If I go to the kitchen from the bathroom and I come back, I have to touch feet again. <laughs> 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 I ask. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Don't like that. Okay, guys. So we can continue a lot talking about this, but we need to cut this video at some point. <laughs> so if you are Indian, please tell me know how the rules are in the, your family, which are the rules, if you touch feet, if you don't touch feet, and if you are non-Indian, so let us know what do you think about this tradition. We are very curious to know also other people's view.
yes i say you can write the uh, your uh, culture in different different country how to take bless how to meet to people just handshake or something else you can write in the comment we will reply soon thanks for watching guys and see you very soon